Hello guys, it's G Killer here for our part 3 of our tutorial missions and today we are doing uh, radio and sonar um, to basically show you how, how this all works um, I'll also show you how to work the Enigma code and the Morse code um, and there's a few there's a few other bits of radio in here that's not used at the moment which I'll, I'll briefly explain what they are and uh, we'll go from there um, so without further ado we'll get into it and we'll have a look into the room so in this room is the the radio room we have our hydrophone here which is uh, so we can detect any uh, propellers uh, off other ships if we can't see any um, through through our uh, periscope or you know seeing it from the bridge or anything like that we also have a little toy here so we can listen to some music um, I'll, I'll show you how that all works in a minute um, and then on this side we have our Enigma we have our telegraph key we have a radio and we have our radio directional finder which this at the moment is not actually implemented in the game you can interact with it you can play with the settings but it doesn't actually do anything at the moment but it was used um, to basically pick up radio signals and it will give you a direction of where the radio signals are coming from um, so that's basically how, how it was used. I'm not going to go into any detail with it until it's actually put into the game and then <coughs> and then I'll show you how, how it all works um, by then. So first of all what we're going to do is we're going to jump on the hydrophone and we're going to see how this all works. So, so if we jump on the hydrophone and what we're going to do is we're going to make sure these settings are set so high pass wants to be set to zero and low pass wants to be set to 22 that should give us a good reading we, in, we can increase the gain I hope you can hear in the background oh at the moment sorry we need to dive this ship first because we're a, a surface so we're not going to wear anything so we always have to make sure that we're underwater when this happens so if we just submerge and go underwater Okay, just wait for our ballast tanks to fill. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I've got a bit of a cough today, so I do apologise for you coughing in the background. Okay, what's our depth at the moment? Okay, we're coming to seven. And we're still slowly sinking, so that's good. We should be close to about a periscope depth. Uh, I'm not going to mop up and mess it around with the trim to get us settled. I'll just let it let it sink away. But we're, we're low enough now to do the uh, to to find a ship on the hydrophone. So as you can hear, it's like a rumbling noise in the background. You can hear at the moment. So what we're going to do is this dial down the bottom. We can we can left click it and we can move the needle left and right. And basically, what we're going to do is we're just going to rotate it until we find something which was already sort of making a noise dead ahead of us. I hope you can hear this, guys. I can uh, let me just turn the volume up a bit so you can hear this because it's very very quiet. Um, just bear with me. So you should be able to hear that crackling noise. So if we bring the gain down a little bit, you can then start hearing... I can hear propellers in the water there. And what we're going to do is we're going to fine tune it. So it is literally dead zero to us. So that's basically how we track um, our ship. So we know there's a ship directly zero ahead of us and if we look on our I think we're, are we still sinking or are we, we're good we're good so if I just jump up on the attack periscope just because it raises higher up um, so so as you can see dead ahead it's about five degrees off but we've got some ships dead ahead of us there as you can see and we're slowly submerging because I haven't sorted the trim out but we don't need to worry about that so that's how all the work the hydrophone is really simple. Um, you can also track torpedoes in the water, 
with this and you can actually hear the propeller off the, uh, the torpedo at the same time. Uh, just moving on, we've got our little music station, we can actually click the record and we can play four of the songs. It'll be nice if the developers add a custom playlist, a custom playlist, which will be really good. But you can basically click what you want, and as you know, we have music. We can also set the volume on here. We also have the um, out, outdoor speakers we can set the volume for, but at the moment we've got them turned off because I don't want to get detected. And we can turn off control room, radio room, so then there's no sound whatsoever. And that's how that works. So we can stop that for going for now. But that's basically the radio. Anyway, let's move on to the more interesting stuff, which is the Enigma code and the Morse code um, and the, the radio receiver and transmitter. So basically, you need to decide between your friend's U boat, what U boat is taken, and um, for now, we're just going to say I'm on 564 at the moment, so I'm on number 4 for receiving. So as you can see, it's set to number 4 and we want to broadcast to another sub so we'll do the U96 so we're going to set channel 2 down on the right hand side so you can see we've got the transmitting onto channel 2 I haven't got anybody else in the game I'm doing this on my own so it's going to be quite difficult to to explain it but um, I played around with it a couple of times and it, I can sort of show you how you're going to receive a code and things so forth so it should be good but for just for the, the demonstration uh, purposes we're just going to set it up to to uh, talk to U-Boat 96. Okay, so once we've got that set, you then need to decide between um, however many players you've got on the game, what you want your code to be set up on. That's these three dials at the top here. So basically, I've discussed it with my invisible friend, um, as, as, and we're going to set our, our uh, encryption key to WKP. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this to WK so now that is our code to receive on the other sub will also set that code in their enigma and then we want to send them a message so basically what we're going to do is this is where you need a pen and piece of paper um, to make this a lot easier so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to send them a simple message saying hello so if we press the key on the keyboard for H you can see that um, I've holded down the H key at the moment so you can see what happens the uh, encryption key has changed and also the O is lit up so that's our first letter we need to write down so O and then if we hold E down we're going to get another letter which is V and then L we're going to get B and if we press L again we're going to get a different letter which is M and then O is N, N for November so that's basically how we, we uh, encrypt a message so we've got O, V, B, M, N. So we're going to send that on the uh, Morse code. It makes it really easy because we've got a little graph at the side. I'm not very good at Morse code, um, but I do. Um, I can read, which most people can. So what we're going to do is we're going to send O. So O is three dashes. So we're just going to go... Oh, wait a minute. What's, not, what's happening here? Can't seem to click on it. It's not working. This is a good start, isn't it? Oh, we can't send the radio message to our submerge. I didn't see that. <laughs> it says it right in the middle of the screen. Oh my god. Anyway, we're going to just save as a sub. No, wait a minute. I need to show, close the balance tank. Might get detected because we're quite close to the shifting front, but we have stopped, so hopefully we don't. Okay, so we're rising up nicely. Just make sure back first time. All right, okay, right, we're raised up. So now we'll be able to send a message. Okay, there we go. So we're going to send O, which is three dashes. So we go dash, 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 and then we're going to send V, uh, which is dot, dot, dot dash and then B which is dash dot 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 and then M which is dash dash and then N which is dash dot and basically what they'll do is then write down at their end what letters they received 
and then they'll go to their Enigma machine and type in the message and they will, it will translate it back to hello. So for instance, let's reset this back to uh, P on here quickly. Okay, so we're received in the message. So they've just sent us them same letters because the same letters always match up to the, to the Enigma code. So we've just received OVBMN. So what we're gonna do is we, we can type it in on here. So we're gonna type O, which gives an H, V, which gives us an E, B, which is an L, M, which is another L, and N, which gives us an O. So we know that they sent hello. So that is basically how simple the Enigma machine is. Um, on the original Enigma key, uh, machine, the, there's uh, quadrillion different calculations this can this can do. But with the game version, you've only got these three wheels. But um, on a real Enigma key, you could take these three wheels out and you could swap them around uh, and get a new set of uh, encryption keys. And also on the front of the Enigma key, you could change um, some cables around and that will uh, then change another setting of encryption keys. Um, <clears throat> if you've got more than one sub on on your water, um, you might have to reset your Enigma key back to P again, and then you'll set your transmission to a different ship. Um, for instance, we'll go to U552, and then we'll have to send. Then, they'll, then when they receive a message, we'll get a message coming through, and then we can decrypt it on here. So it's that simple, guys. There's not a lot to this uh, tutorial. Um, I've basically covered the hydrophone and the Enigma key and transmitting. Uh, there's not much more really for the sonar man to do as such. Um, that is everything I can think of. Uh, if there's anything I missed, just let us know in the comments below. Um, I'll also uh, I also wanted to mention that I've now got a, a new Discord set up, uh, which I'll post in the link. I'll post in the bottom of the YouTube video, um, which is a training area for anybody that wants to learn any of this. Um, you can either watch the videos or I can go through it if you're not quite understanding especially when the more technical stuff comes like the navigational map things like that um, I think that's everything covered um, I didn't get a chance to research a bit of history about this U-boat but I will link uh, a link in, into the YouTube video uh, for anybody that wants to have a quick read of it um, our next video is going to start covering uh, navigational stuff I'm not sure uh, it's going to be two parts yet. Well, depends on how much we get covered in the beginning. Um, yeah, so I think that's everything, guys. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good evening and happy sinking. Cheers, guys. Bye bye.